Hi, you guys. Welcome to Comfy Conversation. <laughs> okay, I'm going to edit that out because, baby, I'm supposed to be comfortable here, though. So, this bitch, I make stupid faces all the time. I do dumb shit. Hi, guys. So, I'm in my bed, as you can see. And I'm going through my daily this is like a daily journal kind of type thing i got it from cracker barrels 15 dollars. 15 dollars is kind of wild but like it's from cracker barrels so who knows and it's you know one of these kind of like i want to see how much it costs for real it might be a little bit cheaper why the fuck am i doing this i don't know anyways it was 15 dollars and I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, it's, it, $15 is a lot of money. Like, is it worth the $15? Already, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So, yesterday, I did not um, do an entry in this because it's Sunday. And most Sundays, I literally do nothing because that's the kind of relationship I got with God. Sundays is supposed to be for rest. And I mean, like, rest only. Don't matter what that looks like for you, whether that be watching tv all day whether that be watching movies all day whether that be reading all day whether that be gardening all day whether that be knitting sewing fucking fashion whatever it is that you do that relaxes your mind and it brings you back to that zen and it just keeps your mind unoccupied like it keeps a silence in here that's what you need to be doing on sundays okay so today the excerpt was the peace of walking in truth. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. When we're not living out our values, it creates a discomfort within our minds and our spirits called cognitive dissonance. Cognitive refer refers to our mental process and dissonance refers to the misalignment. So cognitive dissonance is when our actions are aligned with our true convictions and priorities, which creates an unsettledness within us. Now, that's all I needed to read for real. Because that's why y'all need to go out there and just read. You know what I mean? Just do what you got to do. Even though it's a small excerpt, whatever. But all I needed was that because it made me think back to the different moments where I was working at jobs. And I was just wondering, like, why it always, like, got to the three-month mark. And I would just be like, no, like my body would shut down. My mind would shut down. Everything would just shut down. And I will always wonder, like, why is it that I can only last three months at these funky ass jobs? And it's because they're funky ass jobs. And God knows your place. God knows this is not where you're supposed to be. God knows this is a stepping stone towards the path that you're going on. Right. He knows this is not where you're supposed to be at. So. When your spirit is already aligned in what God has 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 for us, right? Because before we came here, before we were incarnated on earth, we already had a mission. We already had a plan. We already had a subject. He had to be, you feel what I'm saying? We had all the things already instilled within us as we were birthed through our mother's canal, right? So when we got into and and you know. Our, when our spirits were starting to come into our own bodies and go through those waters that, you know what I'm saying, women have inside their body, you start to ingest things and you start to get a taste of what real life is. Now, oftentimes we forget that we are spiritual beings and we think that we're only human when in reality, there's three parts to a human. There's the spirit, there's the consciousness, and then there's the body, the physical. So you have to have all of those things like even if you don't have a consciousness alone, like you, I don't know. I ain't going to speak too much on that because I don't know. But in order to fully develop thoughts and be close, closely connected with God, we have to find a way to drown out the noise. Peace, the peace in walking, the peace of walking in truth is showing me and hopefully y'all will receive it as this is a way for you to know to be steadfast know how to be steadfast and know that 
it's not hard to be steadfast. You feel what I'm saying? And really align yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit, your everything, right? Emotions, all that. Because any of those one things being out of line is going to destroy everything. Okay? So having to make that time to ensure that everything is aligned is the journey. Damn. Damn. Damn, because I was talking about this the other day on, on a video that I had to fucking delete because my phone be acting like swearing that I just don't have no storage, girl. It just be pissing me off. But I was talking about how I was thinking about love and how love is the most like wanted, most, you know, the highest vibrational frequency. And that's why it gets people to change, right? Love is the one thing that makes people you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Do whatever the fuck. Like, love is the biggest motivator, right? And I was wondering to myself, like, what is it that I need to learn so that I can get that love, like, that fulfilling love that I feel like I've been yearning, like, I've been missing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that I need? And what I really needed was to be confident in myself, even when my head looked like this, girl, because, baby, sometimes I just don't, I just... I just don't be seeing it for myself, but I got to always see it for myself. You know what I'm saying? Even with my lips crusted, my knees ashy, bitch, ankles, cankles, girl. Okay. Even if my neck a little fat, bit head big, you fit, extendo, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to always be happy. You're supposed to always love yourself. You're supposed to always be happy. So, and that for me, this, this, this is like talking about career wise, because that's what I struggle with the most, at least right now. Like, I'm trying to find a suitable career that's going to pay me what the fuck I'm due, right? I don't care what nobody say. Everybody be like, oh, just be okay with taking the entry. No. I said no. I said no. I said no. And I said no. Bitch, no. Don't tell me what the fuck to take, okay? Because you don't, you don't see my bills, okay? I see my bills, okay? So you can't tell me how much I need to make, okay? And what's going to help me and what's not. You can't tell me that because you don't know what the fuck I need to pay. Okay. You don't know my bills. Okay. And it's like, I want to find somewhere that's not going to be physically strenuous. That's not going to tax my mind. That's not going to tax my spirit. That's not going to have me huh, exhausted every time I leave. Like, I just want to find like something that aligns with my spirit right my spirit is a creator my spirit is creative my spirit gives birth to ideas right my spirit moves daily my spirit comes up with new ideas daily like i come up with new stuff daily every day is a different day right but it's like being in that cycle of the world where it's like go to work seven fucking five to seven days a week and come home and just pray to God that you have food in your refrigerator. Pray to God that you actually got shoes to put on your feet. Pray to God that you got gas to get to the, to the fucking destination tomorrow. <clears throat> pray to God that you got a snack, bitch. <clears throat> like, I can't do that. Like, I can't do it, okay? That shit is mentally taxing. And it is annoying, okay? it That, that shit hurts your brain. Like, it literally fries your nerves i want y'all to realize that ptsd is a real fucking thing you can get ptsd in any type of like you can literally get ptsd from any type of trauma not just iraq and iran you feel what i'm saying like when people think of ptsd they think of military ptsd that's not the only form of ptsd ptsd can also come from bitch last week my car declined and it was very embarrassing. It was a very embarrassing moment. Like I was on a date, my car declined. Embarrassing. I really am nervous as fuck to pull this card out. My phone is dead. This is all I got. Here you go. And your heart is. Why? Because you're anxious. Because you have PTSD. That's PTSD. Post traumatic after the trauma. What the fuck? Do the S stand for? Stress. 
<laughs> post-traumatic stress disorder so you getting stress right you're you're still feeling the stressful emotions from the trauma even though it already fucking happened break the word down okay break the words down okay you can get ptsd from people places things references music finances this it, you can get ptsd from anything bitch i had ptsd from a from a trey song song please don't ask me why actually do ask me i knew that nigga was a rapist before i knew he was a rapist before i was even fucking 10 okay before i was even a 10 year old child i was having dreams about people places and things and shit like oh my god like i ooh, i think that's why i don't remember a lot of my childhoods because like i've no i've always known too much it seemed like that shit just seemed like it was just atrocious. And I always knew that, like, I, I wasn't where I was supposed to be. So I just kind of, like, ate that shit. Like, I just ate it. <laughs> like, Miss Pac-Man, okay? I just ate it up. I just ate it. Miss Pac-Man, okay? But what I really wanted to talk about in this video is just, you know, allowing yourself grace so that you don't stress yourself the fuck out over something stupid right allow yourself peace of mind in knowing that your spirit is not supposed to be there me saying that like bruh sometimes it'd be like jamaya where do you get this shit from because why the fuck only whenever i turn the camera on then all of a sudden here come these things it's really more so when I start talking, like when I actually use my tongue, then all of a sudden everything adds up and it makes sense because I'm putting it into the atmosphere. But when I'm thinking about it in my head, bro, it just keep going and it keep going and keep going. And I be right. I be right as hell. My spirit be right. Right. But my mind can't come up with a reason as to why that's the answer. Right. So my spirit in my spirit, right, I know for a fact I'm a designer. I know for a fact I'm an artist. I do everything, right? But in my mind, being conditioned by people, places, and things around me, I don't think it's possible. That is where you get cognitive dissonance. Because my spirit has already been aligned on this grand scheme that god gave us right because my spirit is the closest thing to god can't shit touch my spirit i don't care what nobody say nothing will ever fuck with my will ever fuck with or taint my spirit nothing because my walls are impenetrable baby i'm protected so god already knows that this is what he created me for my spirit already knows this is what he created me for now when you get to a certain point right and you, you out here living in the world, right? So, like, let's use me as an example, right? Let's use my example as an example. So, I'm working at a job. Minimum wage is shit, right? Like, $13 an hour. Girl, I'm still staying at my mom's house. So, it's like, girl, $13 an hour. Just take what you can get. And I started taking what I can get. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is good. Like, I can get my shoes how I want them. I can get this. I can get that. And then I had to step back for a second. I had to realize, bitch, you can get all this stuff because you ain't got no bills. That's the real tea. You don't have no bills. You're not paying for nothing right now. So, yes, you can buy. So, you feel abundant as fuck right now. Yes, absolutely, because you ain't saved no money. You spent it all. It's gone. Right? And I'm sitting here wondering to myself, like, why is this money not staying? Why is it not staying? Because it won't meant to stay. It wasn't. It was meant. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Mm-mm, the devil is a lie. It was meant to sustain me for that moment in time until I received, right, the things that I needed. What was, what was the word that I used earlier? I don't fucking know. The things that I needed for me to get to where God needs me to be at, right? So God puts us through this whole, the journey, right? The journey is every single step that we take, we're learning something and we're adopting something. We're letting something go and we're adopting something new. Letting something go and adopting something new. Every single step that we take is going like this, right? So when you get to a point where you're like, all right, I learned a lot. 
I didn't I didn't have my eyes awoken, you know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. First of all, that's when you're gonna get hit the most. I'ma just let you I'ma just let you know now. That's when you're gonna get hit the most because it's gonna be like, What the fuck? Yes, yes. This world is very spiritual and now you now you have been enlightened. Congratulations. So now every single spirit that can see that you can see spirits is gonna try to fuck with you, whether it's positive or negative, okay? Okay, because people can fuck with you positive so we can positively too. I fuck with you. But people can fuck with you negatively. I fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm corny. Anyways. Um, so I'm at a job that God knows is a stepping stone on my journey to get me to where I'm supposed to be. So at that point in time, that was when I had to realize, girl, God was not lying when he told you that you are not meant to be in these spaces. Like, he was not joking. It it was one of those moments where it was like, oh, I'm so excited to work. I'm so excited because I'm really just excited to get paid. I'm hoping that I'm going to get this um executive uh position and I'll be able to go to New York and I'll be able to go to San Francisco. I'll be able to do this and I'll be able to do that da, 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 and I'll get this pay and I'll do that. Da, da, da. Like I'm just like fucking excited. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh yes, like this might be it. This might be the one. This might be because it's like it's aligning with certain parts of me, right? Like my, my spirit wants to be creative. So I'm like, all right, Jemaya, let's go out here and try to get a creative job. But see that's the thing. Like it's a positive and a negative to everything. So God had already told me before I even came back to my mom's house that I wasn't supposed to be working for nobody else. But at that time, it was not working for me to not work for nobody else. I was broke. Bitch, broke. Okay. And I tried for like another year to try to not work for nobody else. But that year I was depressed. Bitch, depressed. So... The year after that, when I started actually working, it made me feel like, okay, Jemiah, this is why you're supposed to be working is because like it works. You know what I'm saying? Like it actually works. Whatever the fuck you thought, it doesn't work. It's not working. It hasn't worked. And then boom, then I started remembering why the fuck I quit the job that I quit before that because I was seeing stuff like, girl, some of my coworkers low key racist as fuck. Girl, low-key racist as shit. Some of my coworkers, all of them bitches were lazy and they don't like to do nothing and they want... It, it just pissed me off so bad because it'd be like everybody everywhere just wants me to do all the fucking work and the answer is hell no. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Then it's like, I'm sitting here steady trying to prove to y'all how important I am to this company and y'all don't give a fuck. I mean, within the, the couple of months that I've been here, I done did this, I done did this, I done did this, I done did this, I done did that. I done did all, a lot of shit. But y'all don't give a fuck. Then I realized, I remember, like, girl, this does not align with my morals. Y'all not finna keep here. Y'all not finna sit here and keep telling me I gotta basically force people to sign up for a fucking credit card. And fuck, they credit up. I call it, man. Oh, I'm coming. Thank you. Just sit on the table. Yeah, about that. There, mom. Yeah. Thank you, mom. Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Jesus. I'm just ready to see your reaction. Yeah. Oh, I'm just ready to see your reaction. Yeah, little boy used to try to come home with you every Sunday. He just texted me, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, he want to help me record some music. He must have known. He should have said, my mama just made macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna have to cut this short because um as you can see I got food. But um it's very important for me to be somewhere that aligns with me morally and you don't you don't value your customers because the store could get to a point where it's flooding and y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all got people just stepping over water. I, I despise a company that does not give a fuck. I just can't do it. Like, you not giving a fuck about the most prized possession here, right? Which is your product and your customers means you don't give a fuck about me for sure. I know for a fact you don't give a fuck about me. 
Because if one of your customers slip and fall in this bitch, who's paying for it? Y'all are. Which means you don't give a fuck. If somebody slip and fall in this bitch, you don't care. Because you still got this store open. Y'all crazy as shit. Then it's like... I just knew at that point, like, something ain't right. I am literally in here with an aching ass back, bro. I'm telling you, I don't know what happened one night, bro. I don't know whether I had COVID, bitch. I don't know what the fuck was going on. But my body felt like it was literally shutting down from working at that job for less than a month. Less than two, three months. It had to be less than two, three months. Bending back and forth, bending and running here and running there and everybody calling you what the fuck this is crazy for 13 dollars. hell no absolutely not y'all need to give me some mo you don't got no mo okay then i got to go because i'm not finna do this i'm not that's me sacrificing my morals which means my spirit is not aligned with this place it's not it can't be because my body is hurting internally aching bitch my i'm telling you my back was hurting so bad so bad girl i felt like i was dying that fucking weekend like bro it was literally like three four days where i just literally felt like i was dying i could not move bitch i could not do nothing and god literally kept reminding me like sit down chill out you doing too much like even when i was working there i felt like i was doing too much but i felt like i was doing what i needed to do so that i could get a fucking promotion that's that's that fear mongering that's that guilt tripping that's that all that and i'm not doing that shit baby y'all not finna psychologically abuse me for a fucking 13 dollars an hour no that is psychological abuse you gonna sit here and be like oh can you do such and such and such, and such? so you want me to put down the the task that you already just fucking gave me to pick up your task that your lazy ass don't want to do so that you can sit around the store and then complain that I'm not doing my job because bitch I'm I'm up I'm I'm hell up doing yours. You got me fucked up. You got the game fucked up. And then y'all gonna sit here and be trying to pressure people into doing different shit. You're crazy as hell. My spirit is not aligned there. And then think about I, I think about this a lot. I really wanted to be a doctor. I literally wanted to be a medical doctor so bad. That is, that's what I wanted. That was my dream since I was a child. I knew I was supposed to heal people, bro. I always knew it. I always knew that was my job. I always knew that was my fucking job. Always knew that was my job. Always. Still know it's my job to this day. I get to college. Girl, junior year. I look to my left. I look to my right. I start to realize, baby, this is not, this is not, this is not what it's chopped out to be. Y'all teaching me, you teaching me about the fact that y'all go to the Amazonian forest, pick out a couple of, of medicinal herbs, put only about 2% of that shit inside of our medicine just so people can keep paying for that shit. You're crazy as fuck if you think that I'm about to sit here and con people into doing that. No, that was the first time that my spirit was like, I feel like. I don't know. Junior year might have been when my spirit really awoken, like, and came back into my fucking body. I don't know. I don't know. It might have been the moment when I really realized, like, girl, I'm really a spiritual being out here having a human ass experience. Like, this is wild. I can really connect with God if I just close my eyes and I think about him. I really can talk to him. All I have to do is close my eyes and say, God. And God will say, yes, my darling. Yes, my child. Yes, my baby. I'm finna start crying because my eyes get it. Look, I don't play about God. That's one thing I don't play about. Because anybody can be gone tonight, tomorrow, in this very hour, in this 30 minutes. Bitch, we can get, I can get into it with anybody and they could not be in my corner. But God, even if I get into it with God, even if I say, even if I try to cuss him out. God, why would you do this to me? Why would you da 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 he going he gonna to allow me to feel how I'm feeling because he know what I'm feeling. He know that I'm feeling away. He understands me, right? He knows that I'm feeling away. He's going to allow me that space and that opportunity to feel how the fuck I want to feel. And he's going to kindly remind me of the reason why he did what he did, whether that be through experience, whether that be through anything. Girl, because I'm telling you, when I had that that realization the other day, like, I'm... I'm trying to figure out what it is that I need so that I can receive the love that I deserve. 
it made me realize, girl, it has everything to do with all this shit that you've been learning through these trials and tribulations that you complain so fucking much about. But I thank God for going through every single part of that thing because had I not, my God, where would I be? Don't know. I would probably be in an abusive ass relationship right now. Probably with about two kids, bitch. Looking crazy. <sighs> bitch, probably looking really crazy. Like, dead ass. Like, don't nobody know what you go through until they allow you the opportunity to speak on it. And, and actually, like, fully speak on it. I feel like a lot of people in my life don't let me speak my peace. Because... I'm too, I'm, I tell the truth. I tell the fucking truth. And a lot of people don't like that. They're rather than sugarcoat. Girl, I can't sugarcoat. I'd rather sit there and look at you like you're crazy. Mm. Okay. All right, then, girl. Do what you're doing for you, boo boo. Do what you're doing for you. Don't cry to me when that shit don't, when that shit fall through. Okay. But yeah. Mm. It's just important to me to know that these are stepping stones to a grander journey, you know, and the destination is, is quite unknown, but it's very familiar. It's unknown, but it's something that you already know, like you already feel it. Like, girl, I'm going to tell you right now, I be feeling, I, please don't ask me how, I don't know. I be thinking about it. That's how, because <laughs> I bitch i am not talking to no men right now like none at all it's really dry out here okay drier than my fucking hair i promise you okay i can feel the energy of my man though like wherever he at with his fine sexy black chocolate good god almighty good googly moogly that thing is big as is wherever he at baby i'm just whoo I'm just thankful that I'm going through what I'm going through so I can meet his fine ass. Because, my God, I just can't wait. I can taste it. I can taste it. I'm telling you, I can taste it. Girl, I'm grown, okay? Bitch, I, I need some dick, okay? I'm grown, okay? We are grown. I'm grown, girl. I'm a grown-ass woman with grown-ass needs, baby. And God made this coochie, okay? So he knows that this motherfucker get a little temperate. <laughs> he knows. He knows that this bitch get a little, you feel what I'm saying? A little, a little, you know what I mean? At certain times of night and certain times in the day, he already know that. He know who I am. He made me. He made it. He made it just as juicy as it is, okay? Fall off the bone, tender, okay? He made it. So, of course, like, why wouldn't he want somebody to enjoy his, like, his favorite meal? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? So, I'm just like, shoot, wherever he at, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm just open to the opportunities. The only thing that I'm, I'm kind of doing right now, though, is, like, I want it to be perfect. Like, if you ain't coming at me with that perfect energy, you might as well just go ahead and get the fuck on. And I think I have to remember that there's no such thing as perfect. And if I'm looking for perfection, I'll never find it. I have to find somebody who genuine, like, who genuinely enjoys me, who genuinely wants to get to know me, who genuinely wants to hang, who genuinely, genuine, 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 like, it's just all got to be genuine. That's all I want It's just somebody genuine, somebody who really want me for me. You know what I mean? And not just for the pretty face and the attributes and the possibilities of her becoming the model and this and that. And you know what I mean? And, and none of that shit. Like, oh, she can sing. She can do this. She can do that. I, 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 she's so sweet. She's so nice. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want, I feel like a lot of time it's some, it's some certain men out there that come to me or like are attracted to someone like me because they think they can control me. They think I'm a fucking idiot. And the answer is hell no. I just don't aggressively smack people. You know what I'm saying? Like 
I'll passive aggressively pat you in your motherfucking face and let it be known. Don't play with me. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's like, uh, uh, but at this big age, I don't have time to be fighting with no man. And I damn sure don't have time to be fighting with no girl over no boy. What the fuck do I look like? Hell no. So, baby, like, mm mm. And that be the, those be the ones that be trying to work they Mac the hardest, girl. They be trying their hardest to just show me that they something. Like, and it pisses me off so bad because the regular men, like the regular men, they just are regular. And they're not going above and beyond doing all this love bombing and shit like that because they're regular ass men. And they know their worth. They know what they bring to the table and all of that. They're not trying to blind you with some extra shit, right? Girl, I be blinded by the extra shit every time. Every time. I mean, every time I see the extra shit and it just excites me so much. And I I can't tune out of it. What the fuck, girl? What is you doing? What is you doing? What is you doing? Girl, the theatrics don't be enough, girl. The curtains close quicker than they fucking open, okay? And half the time, the lights don't even be on. The lights don't even be on, okay? Girl, they don't even be having brains, bitch. Metalheads, okay? It just it just gets on my nerves so bad because they be trying so fucking hard. Like, they, they go above and beyond to be bullshit. Why the fuck would you do that? Like, transparency, please? Like, just let me know. Like, hey, yeah, I ain't shit. I fuck with this person. I fuck with that person. I fuck with, her, with everybody. But I'm always keep you tight and i'm gonna keep you right and i'm gonna keep you da, da, da. transparency i'm not gonna fuck with you because i'm gonna I'm be honest girl i'm a lover girl i'm not gonna fuck with you because bitch i'm going to catch feelings i'm sorry i'm going to catch feelings if the dick good and the sex good and the chemistry good i'm going to catch feelings absolutely and maybe i need to get a little bit more experience get out there you know what i'm saying swimming in pools and shit like that but baby i I don't have time for y'all niggas to be getting attached to my body and be on my fucking mental because I don't got nobody else to fuck with. So I'm thinking about Darius and Darius ain't shit. Fuck Darius. You know what I mean? Fuck him. Okay. Shit. I'd rather be thinking about myself and occupying my brain with my own shit. Okay. With myself. Alrighty. So to all my ladies and gentlemen out there, that's like, in the same position as me you in this like bruh i really cannot stand staying in the waiting room because at this point i don't even feel like i'm in the waiting room no more i feel like i'm like i didn't got seen bitch I, I might be in the room now i might be in my room you feel me like they might have gave me my little gown and shit like that i might be in my room now i'm just waiting to be seen again i'm waiting to you know what i'm saying be seen again and then when i get seen again i don't know what happens after that you got the waiting room what happens after that you get seen then you sit there for a while, somebody else comes, see you, then you sit there for another while, then somebody else goes. So yeah, I'm just, hey, I'm in the room now, child. I'm clear glad, baby. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, prepared the room, girl. It's all nice and comfortable in this bitch, girl. It smell good, girl. Like, girl, they got snacks, bitch. Look. Bitch, they got snacks. Like, life is good. So yeah. Anybody else want to rate room, baby? Check out your journal, because this is what I'm finna do tonight. Check out your journal. Write down all your insecurities, okay? Tomorrow, check out your journal and write down all your obstacles. All the shit that you feel like is in your way. Write it down. The day after that, write down every single which way that you can move those obstacles or you can get out the way right who the next day write down what what the war is what the war is that's looking like inside of you like what is the war that's deep girl oh girl i'm sorry that that felt good when i said that um what is the war that's going on inside of you like what is it about is it about finances i'm gonna tell y'all a couple of my wars it's about finances I'm really so, more so warring with myself about how to come about the money that I need and the money that, you know, is necessary for me to get the place that I want, the car that I want, and all that shit, right? 
Um, uh, so the battle is, do I go corporate, which I feel like is not my stilo at all, but I probably could do it, you know what I'm saying, for the check. Yet again, morals versus mental, going against each other again. I really want to be a stay-at-home mom. I don't want to do shit. I just want to get up, clean up a little bit, make breakfast, bitch. Make a smoothie, bitch. Go work out in my room. Do my yoga, bitch. Paint my nails, girl. Do my hair. Go to Target. Cracker Barrel, bitch. I like Cracker Barrel all of a sudden. I don't know. I got the necklace from Cracker Barrel. But it's it's tangling up everywhere. And it's kind of pissed me off. But I wanna. I don't want to do shit but just shop. <laughs> I will model. I will fucking sing. I will make beats. I will write music for other people. I will paint. I will do fashion. I will do all the things. I just don't have time to be clocking into nobody else's job, bro. And slaving for another 20 years. I can't do it. Like, it's just a, it's a sick ass cycle. And I know a lot of people think about this cycle when they think about strippers and how strippers are like, yeah, I'm going to stay another two months. And then I'm going to go. I'm going to have enough money for my business. And they never get to go because they never have enough money for their business. Look at Mercedes, bitch, P Valley. She never like, and when she did finally get the chance to retire, quote unquote, she had to go back to the club. Why? Because she needed money. I don't ever want nobody to have that that rug underneath my foot that they can pull. Fuck no. Because if your company decided to do budget cuts, bitch, and they let your ass go, you can't do nothing about that. I'm going to have to find another job. You better hope you don't got a mortgage due tomorrow. You better hope. You better hope they give you a little stipend or something. You better hope, bruh. You better hope and you better pray. My other battle is between the two niggas, right? I told y'all I wasn't talking to nobody. I'm really not because I'm not talking to either one of them. But I feel something about both of them. Which is like, I don't know what the fuck this means. I go everywhere, every day. I see people all the time and I feel nothing. This certain person. And I don't, I never felt like that before he like came at me like that, right? Now, all of a sudden, I feel all these feelings for this person. It's like, where the fuck did this shit come from? Because, like, bro, what? And then it's, like, all just rushing in, rushing in, rushing in. It just seems so perfect. Oh, and he, he's going to do this, and he does that, and, uh, uh, and he cares, and he's catered to your body. He's catered to you. And you sit back and realize, like, this shit is all physical. I mean, all physical. Anytime I talk to this nigga, he trying to... I hate a nigga who put up the facade or, like, who just, like, try to pretend like he know what the fuck is going on just to be in the room. I can't stand a nigga like that. I really can't. And he gives me that vibe real bad. Like, when he around me and he in my face, like, he acts like he's so clean cut and so good, such a nice person, da 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 da, da. Who the fuck knows what he act like when he not around me? Bitch, please. When he with his little friends, girl, bye. Girl, please. So it just reminded me, like, girl, this is all physical. This is all physical. It might have been a little mental part in it from me, bitch, because, mind you, I'm only knowing my perspective. I don't know what the fuck he got going on. I damn sure don't think he was that damn pressed about me. Because, if baby, you'll do it. Okay, you will make it work. You will do something. Something something you won't scare to do whatever the fuck you did the beginning now you ain't doing shit because it, it you already accomplished your mission that was what you wanted that was it and i was a little upset with myself because i be i gave him me bitch and this is why i haven't i haven't fucked nobody because it's like i'm so tired of giving myself to people and all they want is just that little sliver of me and to say that they did it i really can't stand it because i feel like you got one up on me but it's like whole time Bitch, like, oh, uh, like, it make me feel like you got one up on me. <coughs> oh, shit, it's getting, it's getting a little warm, a little toasty. Did he have one up on me? I feel, I feel so insecure, girl. I feel like I was right back in that damn relationship with that dude. And I was just yearning it all over again. It's like an addiction. It's like a, it's like a, 
it's like an addiction. Like your trauma is addicted to putting you through that shit like over and over again because it's familiar. It knows what it looks like. It knows what it tastes like. It knows all that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so those those nerves in your mind are going to react. So months, almost years of trying to figure out, well, almost a year of trying to figure out whether I really fuck with this person or not, what caliber I'm fucking with them on. It's just even real. Am I tripping? Am I, am I delusional? Does it, anytime you got to do all that, you already know the answer is, what is all these questions for? Only reason why you ask all these questions is because you're insecure. You're insecure. You don't know because, and you don't know because you don't know. And that person is 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 literally like banking on your insecurities and on the fact that like okay, nobody says shit. Nobody da 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 da. Ain't nobody da da da. That bullshit. I hate that. Like, that to me is like the worst type of person. Like, you got to be the worst type of person on earth to sit here and really try to like use somebody's weaknesses against them and manipulate them into fucking you is the weirdest shit ever. Like, you got a special part in hell. A very special, warm, toasty, close to the devil part. You feel what I'm saying? Like VIP status. That is so fucking weird. Like, why do you have to lie? Ugh, I just hate it. I just hate it. I just hate it. I just hate it. This generation of men is just like, well, this generation of, of niggas is just terrible. I, it's so many boys and niggas amongst the men. Like, I just, I you have to know how to sort them out, baby. And I'm still trying to figure that out myself, okay? Um, But the other dude, we had talked. Girl, he was so transparent off the rip. And it was just like, it's got to be something missing. Like, it's got to be something you ain't telling me. Because, yet again, so it's like, your PTSD or trauma triggers you like this. Like, it's like a it's like an ebb and a flow, right? So, your trauma is used to a thing, so it attracts that thing and it's attracted to that thing. But your trauma also is afraid of the unknown, so, or the other side of the coin, right? So, anytime that is coming your way you get automatically afraid you self-sabotage you just shut down you just shut the whole thing down i didn't did that to him about twice at this point um because first time it was like i didn't know what his intentions were and it was just like boy what do you what the fuck do you want from me and it's crazy because i have the gall and i have the audacity i have the fucking balls to ask him that but the other nigga that's confusing the shit out of me i can't even come up i can't even muster the mic because he don't want me to if he ever, if I ever get the backbone to ask him, what the fuck do you want from me? And why the fuck did you even do what you did? Why, 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 why? Then all of a sudden, I know part of his plan. I know his reasoning. I know his plan. I know the agenda. I know everything. If I find out, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? I know that shit making me want to like ask, like, dead ass, what made you do that shit? Like, what made, because... I've never given you no sign. I've never looked at you no type of way. I've never thought about you no type of way like that and nothing. What made you do that? Just to then try to make it seem like I'm fucking crazy. Like, what? When you coming on to me, bitch, I didn't ask you to eat my... What? Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> you feel me? Like, this is crazy. It really is crazy. Bitch, I might be crazy. I'm confused because where the fuck did this shit even come from? Like, I have not even thought about you, period, bitch. I don't even know you like that for real, for real. So what the fuck? Like, bruh, I feel like certain people, like, they'll have their eyes on you and they'll know, like, yeah, I'm going to get you. And then when they get you and they achieve their fucking agenda, then all of a sudden they just be like, okay. And then in my mind, that, that, that parasite in me that's yearning for more from somebody who's clearly obviously never going to give me what I'm looking for it's like we'll do this we'll do that see if he'll respond to this see if he'll respond to that what happens if you did that girl fuck that nigga and fuck that bullshit if he wanted it he would have okay if he wanted to he would okay 
And it's crazy. Oh my fucking gosh. Cause I don't get that man at like no opportunity to even try. Like, I don't even give the other man no opportunity to try. I didn't gave this other nigga months and months and months and months, almost up to a year to figure out what the fuck he got going on. And we still, uh, bitch, we not confused. I'm not confused no more. I already didn't figure that shit out, baby. You don't want me. You just want anything that walk. Okay. Anything with a pussy that walk. Okay. Ugh, I can't stand a nigga like that. That's got to be some of the most nastiest shit ever. And then the dick didn't even work. So on top of that, you coerced me into putting my pussy on your head. On top of that, the dick don't work. What the fuck? Baby, we not we hardly even in our thirties. We ain't need bitch, I am not in my thirties yet at all. I literally just turned twenty four. Why is your dick not working already? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, that's what I'm saying, like that that mm mm. Mm mm. Something ain't right, baby. Something ain't right in the water, okay? Telling you you can't drink that shit. Okay. Something ain't right, bruh. I don't know. It's like I'm trying to figure out what's my next move. Like, now I'm thinking to myself, like, I want to ask this nigga what made him do what he did. And I want to ask this dude what makes him not want to show up. And I don't think he didn't want to show up. I think he was just nervous. He didn't want to, like, I hate this shit because, bro, it's like, Men always want to be seen as masculine caregivers, masculine, I take care of it all, certain men, right? M mind you, emphasis is on the word men. We're not talking about niggas. We're not talking about boys, okay? We're not talking about them. We're talking about grown-ass men, okay? Men. They like to be manly and masculine and, and go out and get it for you and bring it back home and enjoy when you enjoy it. The reason why I, me and him stopped talking again is because I invited him to go with me to the ice cream parlor, right? I was already out there, you feel me? Do -do -do, I'm chilling. So I'm like, I done got me a little drinky drinker. I'm like, uh, you want to come down here and see me? You you said you want to see me today, so I'm outside. What you trying to do? This man hits me with a, oh, it's not my pay week. I didn't ask you about that. Like, I didn't ask, I didn't say come buy my ice cream. I didn't say come buy pay for my food. I didn't say none of that. All I said was you wanted to see me, so come to the ice cream bottle. Oh, I might come. Might. 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 You already lost me. And it's crazy because them type of men don't know the words to use. They don't know the words to use. They don't know the actions. They don't know nothing. But them fuck niggas, they know everything because they didn't fuck everybody. That's why. Damn. Well, there it go. They know everything that a girl want because they didn't fuck everybody. There you go. They have hella experience. That's what I think I need is more experience. I just don't want to go out there and just spread my legs to them. Fucking girl <laughs> it got to the point where like i haven't seen nobody attractive in a very 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 long time i haven't seen nobody that i'm like immediately like oh yeah and you know what all of the people this is something that I do a lot. I, I like to talk to people who are married and I like to talk to people who are older than me and just gather information about them and and see what God is is going to anoint their lips with, right? So I talk to a lot of people a lot of times about like, how did you know that person was the one? Because I want to know. I really genuinely want to know because I, I know what love feels like now. I'm still defining it, but I'm getting closer to my true definition. And... Every person I've ever talked to, they said it was never love at first sight. It was 